Hello, and welcome to Not My Car. Uh, that's because my car has died. Yeah. So then, I've already tried filming this video uh, a few hours ago. I came out here and uh, sat down, tried to like improvise it all, but I don't know, I just couldn't get my words out properly, uh, couldn't get the vibe right, so we've knocked all that on the head. I've been in on a coffee, um, now I've got a drink because I don't know if I sound any different, but in my head I sound different because I'm a bit ill, so apologies in advance for that. So basically I just wanted to do a channel update, car update sort of thing, because I've not done a video now in two weeks I think it's been, so some of you may be wondering where I've been or what have you, so a lot of people have said, right, you need to you need to do an update video. Right, so I just want to mention before we dive into this video that if you don't already, I recommend following me on Instagram. Uh, and I don't mean in any way for like, I want some extra clout because I'm not bothered. Uh, but basically, the people over on Instagram have already heard about this whole situation. And if you're not on there, then I suggest you do just because Instagram always hears about stuff first, you know, it's um, it's easier for me to, you know, just upload a picture and some text than it is to film, edit, upload a video. So, if you want to hear about stuff, like when I'm out filming, when I'm editing, when stuff's going to go live, just current situation, just follow me on Instagram, I'll put it on screen, wherever, I think it normally comes up down here, but, yeah, just do that, and then you would already know about this, but... If you don't want to, then that's fine. If you've not got Instagram, then, like I said, I'm not bothered about the numbers. So it's it's more just so you're not left in the dark of why I haven't uploaded in two weeks. But but yeah. So then, uh, what has happened? As you saw in the very beginning of this video, the ST has died. Um, there's no joke about it. It's not a play on words. It's not a lie. It is dead for the foreseeable future. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to go over it briefly. So I'm just going to start from the beginning. Uh, last week, Tuesday it was, my car went in for an MOT. When I went to pick it up at the end of the day after work, uh, it had failed, unfortunately, but it was on the two front tyres. Now, I already knew that I needed some new front tyres anyway, so it wasn't that much of a shock. I, I didn't think it would fail. I thought it would be an advisory, but apparently there was like some gashes in it or some ad. I don't know. I had to get new tyres. Did that on Wednesday. Got two new tyres. I got the same as what was on the back, the uh, Kumo Extras, I think they're called. Took it back in on Thursday for its retest and it passed. No problem. So after work, picked it up. It went, yep, you're fine, no problem. Car's all good. Buzzing. Car's passed. <laughs> Getting it to go home and probably about 10 minutes into my drive home. I get onto the country road and get up to speed, maybe about 40, 45 mile an hour and I just hear this really loud bang noise and subsequent like banging every time the wheels are rotating. I was like, what the, what is that? Like, it was something I'd never heard before. <laughs> so I pulled over, obviously, I got out and the first thought that I had was that one of the wheels had come loose. Um, I don't know, it just sounded to me like you know every rotation it sounded like something was like wobbling or what have you so I thought maybe the wheel hadn't been put on properly which would have been annoying but not nearly as annoying what it was <laughs> I get out I look at the car it looks fine I'm like what the what was that uh, so I get back in and I tried to move it it went into gear fine I must have moved about three or four feet again every rotation of the wheels it was just banging and clunking and it sounded horrible. I, I had no idea what it was, so obviously, engine off, hazards on, get out, let's have a look at what it is. First thing I did, look underneath the car, and <laughs> lo and behold, my engine was on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> That's an exaggeration. It wasn't literally sat on the floor, obviously, but it was maybe an inch away from the floor. Uh, it fell out, one of my mounts is gone lift up the hood, the engine is like this, so I'm looking, the, I look at the back, the engine mount, uh, the gearbox mount has gone, basically it's collapsed, it's given up, which is frustrating because it was only a five, six month old gearbox mount, 
but that's another story of what I can't be bothered to get into. I think I may have mentioned it in the past that that had been changed. I can't remember. But, yeah, gearbox mount's gone, so engine's on the floor. <laughs> uh, call up the recovery truck. He comes, picks me up, he has a look at it. He goes, yeah, gearbox mount. Uh, your drive shaft's come out, popped or whatever. May have bent it. Who knows? He jacked me up onto back at van. Well, flatbed thing, whatever it is. And he's just towed it back to work for me. Um, it's safe there, to be fair. Uh, it's locked up in the yard, no problem. And like I said, the garage is next door to my work anyway, so I thought, why take it home? Because then I can't fix it. Leave it at work, garage will sort it. But yeah, that's more or less the reason I don't have my car. Um, it happened a week ago now. It's Today is Sunday. It happened not last Thursday, but the Thursday be No, not this Thursday, but the Thursday before. So it's been a week and three days. That's why I'm driving the 1.2, what you've seen before. Um, basically, I spoke to the garage next door. He says he can fix it, or at least he thinks he can fix it, depending on the damage. Uh, we had a look at it the other day. Uh, we tried rolling it into his garage, just pushing it in. But again, the wheels, every time, it was just clunking. So he got underneath a little bit. He had a look in the engine bay. He says one of the drive shafts on the near side, I think, is completely gone. That's just dead. Um, obviously, gearbox mount was gone. And he says there's a chance that the gearbox itself may have took some damage, so we can't get it into his garage. Uh, yeah, we're, we're kind of stuck at the minute, and he hasn't got any time until two weeks to really get to it, unless someone cancels or what have you, so... It is just completely out of action now. Uh, yeah, it's just locked up at work. Can't do it with it. So, the plan for it is we're gonna, well, we're gonna have to jack the engine up somehow, lift it, like, either put like a bit of wood or something across the strut tops and hoist it up over that, or we've got some scaffold at work, so we might have to build a frame around it hoist the engine, roll it into the garage. Uh, he, he basically says he doesn't want to push it because it's it's just going to make things worse if you if you roll it. Because depending on how the drive shaft is in the gearbox, we, we just don't know what the extent of the damage is and I'm not going to know for at least two weeks, week and a half maybe. So that sucks. Uh, ST's gone. But... Here's where I need your guys' help. So I can't really decide what I want to do with it. Um, like, everyone has told me to just pay and get it fixed. And then when you get it back, you'll love it again. But I'm at the point now where I'm just feeling, like, fed up with it. Like, I've just spent, like, all that money on tyres and... Do you know, all this other stuff. Well, I've spent money on it. And now it just goes and does that on a five-month-old gear mount, gearbox mount pretty annoying to be fair so when it happened at first I was like sod this car it's gone I don't want it now I've had time to process it a little bit more I'm still undecided I want it back mainly because I'm kind of bored of driving this 1.2 everywhere there's no there's no fun in it if I'm honest it's a good car there's nothing wrong with it you know it works it gets me where I want to go so I can't fault it it is a car and I'm very lucky that I can use it but I don't know, <laughs> when you're a car guy, you can't not have a good, like, fast sport, it, not that the ST is fast, it's not, but you know what I mean, once you've had a, an ST, you can't go back to a 1.2, man, you know, I don't know, so, I kind of want your guys' opinions on what I should do with it, whether I should pay and fix it, pay and sell it, uh, fix it and sell it, or just break it and try and get some money back on it. I think that's probably the worst option. I think it would be better to fix it and sell it as a working car at least, but I don't know. There's some car, there's a few cars what I want. Uh, if you know me, then you pro <laughs> Camera mount's just gone, buzzing. I can't remember where I were now. Um, yeah. So you're probably thinking, 
how is this going to affect the channel, what's going to happen now. Um, I don't really know, if I'm honest with you. I mean, it, it's getting to winter now anyway, so mods were going to be always hard to do. Uh, I have got ideas of videos, you know, just like generic sort of videos. Um, similar sort of ideas to, well, not really, but you know, the five cheap and easy mods and stuff like that. You know, you know videos what I can do where it doesn't matter what weather it is, if that makes sense. I don't know what kind of videos to do. I don't, what do you really want to see? Um, again, let me know because I'm kind of at an impasse here. I don't know where to go from now. Uh, I'm not by any means going. I know I've kind of clickbaited you all with the, uh, the thumbnail and the title or what have you, but everyone's allowed one, aren't they? So I used it now. <laughs> I, I did have an idea of maybe doing like a comparison video of the 1.2 and the ST, like not just like, oh yeah, the ST is quicker and better, but you know, like stuff what the ST has got, what this hasn't and what you get for paying a bit more money sort of thing. But I don't know, if you want to see that, maybe, maybe I'll do it, maybe I'll not. So I've also kind of thought about maybe doing like um, in a video for people who want to make their car louder and stuff because I get a lot of questions about that like oh how can I make my car sound better so I was thinking maybe do a video for that but is that going to be something what you guys want to watch because at the end of the day I don't want to make stuff what you don't want to see because what's the point <laughs> I'm doing this for you guys so I don't know do you know what I mean? Am I making any sense whatsoever? Probably not, but man's stressed, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, moving on to point number three, what I wanted to talk about. Uh, <laughs> and this is a good one. This is a good one. We've hit 2K subs. <laughs> 2,000. And it's come so quick as well. I can't, honestly can't wrap my head around it. I was looking at my statistics on the YouTube studio app the other day and it, it, the growth is unreal. I can't, I can't get my head around how quickly this channel is like growing. Um, it doesn't feel like it was even that long ago that I got a thousand and did that big 10 sticker giveaway. That feels like it was only, I don't know, a few weeks ago. So 2000 in no time whatsoever <laughs> cheers thank you I really appreciate it um, yeah thanks <laughs> I don't know what to say other than thank you uh, it means a lot it really does this channel it's you know I started it just as a something to do another hobby you know I enjoy editing I enjoy making stuff I love cars so it was kind of like a no-brainer to start a car channel because uh, my mindset was I'm going to do mods to my ST anyway so why not film it people might want to watch it so and it turns out you all do you're all loving it so 2000 thank you very much thank you now as for a giveaway we are going to do one uh, but originally it was going to be at 2k but because you know, the, the whole situation with the car, me stressing out, doing overtime to try and pay to fix it. I just haven't had time to, because I actually hit 2K like a day two, a day or two ago. So ideally I should have been doing the, the giveaway now, but why would I do a giveaway when the videos on the ST are gonna stop? I don't know, it's, it's a bit of a complicated mess at the minute, so. I wanted to get this one out first. So we're moving the giveaway to 2.5K instead of 2K. We've already got um, Titan plates are back involved. So we're gonna be giving away another set of those. Sublime Concepts are also getting involved this time around. Uh, you'll know those guys from the phone holder, what goes in the coin slot. They make those. They've also got a new product coming out, which is a cup holder for your vent. Uh, that looks pretty cool to be fair. I'm not sure what we're gonna give away just yet. Still in talks, so when the time comes, when we get 2.5K, we'll sort that out. Uh, and if you want, let me know. Uh, shall I do some more stickers again? I don't, I mean, I still have some uh, of the, I think it was the 1K stickers, what I did. Still got some of those left. Um, not many, but some of them. I kind of want to do another design 
for 2.5k, but I don't know. Are you getting sick of stickers? Because I feel like that's all I ever give away. Stickers, so maybe you got something new. Let me know your ideas what I should do for a giveaway. Uh, I know Steve recently did some uh, Lego dust caps. That was that was a good giveaway. That uh, check out Steve's channel if you've not already. Link will be down below. But yeah, that's uh, that's my update for you. Car's dead. Uh, don't know when it's going to be back. Videos will continue, and thank you for 2,000 giveaways incoming soon. There are other points I wanted to talk about today. Uh, like I said before, if you don't already, then follow me on Instagram. That's where you'll hear about everything first. It's, like I said, it's just easier to upload on there than it is to do a video. And that's not an excuse before anyone thinks I'm getting lazy. No, you, there's a lot of work involved with YouTube. It's There's a lot to it. And I'm not complaining because I love doing it, but anyway, just, I'm just doing what I always do, chatting. Uh, that's all this video is ever going to be, so I understand that this isn't going to be for everyone. It's mainly just for the subscribers, so just to let everyone know what's going on. Yeah, uh, let me know everything I've asked you, uh, what do you want in a giveaway, what kind of videos do you want to see, what shall I do with the ST put all that down there so I can uh, get some suggestions from you all and yeah the next video will be next week I hope I have got some time off work uh, but I'm gonna be again pretty busy so uh, I don't know I'm, I'm gonna get back on my weekly videos um, YouTube's not going anywhere I'm here to stay I'm loving every minute of it so don't worry about that. Anyway guys, that's going to do it for this video then. Uh, cheers for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, then leave us a, a comment to tell me so. Something stupid, just put like, I don't know, uh, video end club. I don't know, put whatever you want. Something funny, make me laugh, cheer me up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're going to leave it there. And I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to drop us a like, or your comments, and... If for some reason you've clicked on this video and the camera mount's gone again, see ya. <laughs> Shit.